This episode is brought to you, as always, by our friends at the Hinch Distillery, a local drink for local people. That's a Madeira whiskey I have in front of me. Don't know if you can see it. I'm not reaching over. It's absolutely lovely. Give it a try. Call down to the Hinch Distillery. Have some fucking whiskey. It's a lovely place. We're also joined, as always, by our friends at Manscaped.com. You know what they do. I've done this ad read hundreds of times and i'm gonna do it a hundred more there's only so many ways i can allude to shaving your bollocks but that's what the product is you have to shave your fucking bollocks we can save you money get you 20 percent off state-of-the-art meal grooming from our friends at manscaped if you're down with that give me a hell yeah hell yeah thank you sean Manscaped.com, you get the lawnmower, you get the nose trimmer, he does your ears too, you get a nice wee pair of boxers, you get the ball toner, you get the ball deodorant, you know what you get, you know what this is, you know what I'm about to say, I will continue saying it, Manscaped.com, use the code MUBBLOOD, 20% off. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of the MUBBLOOD podcast, brought to you as always by me, William Thompson, and he's back! He's back from a land down under. Slim Shady. Oh, you you glad to be home or are you missing the sun? No, I'm glad to be home. How how was it, sir? Unreal. Yeah. It's a brilliant country, like it's, it's fucking it's, awesome. Yeah, it's a brilliant country. Like I really get it. It was just sometimes like used with her with people I was on the fucking jack. Do you know what I mean? Who's what do you mean? Why I wasn't with them? Oh right, I was like, who the fuck's Jack? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know what you were it's talking about. And plus, why are you on him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably go gay in Australia. <laughs> well, you do go, you down, go down, down on that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a favourite place in particular? I loved know? Perth. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It's just, it's like a small Texas or Dallas or something. It's like its, it's, like its just, own wee thing. It's like its own wee thing and it's just spotlessly clean. Yeah. And it's not over busy. Like, yeah. you know, but it has everything you need. And everyone there is chilled out. Yeah. You go to a bar and you're like, can I get a beer? And they're like, at, at some point you will get one. Yeah. But you're in no hurry because it's so lovely. No, I really liked it. Really, really liked it. Um, Sydney was great too. Um, at The comedy store is just... Oh, I saw photos of that. I never got to do it, but it looked What a it. fucking... Like, I have never played a room. You know why people say to me, what is your favourite venue? That is it. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Like, I haven't found a, a more perfect room to do comedy in than that. And what's so, because I haven't been in it, why is it so good? I can't explain. Yeah. I can't explain because it's actually a funny shape. It goes around, like, in a curve. But it's dark and it's comfortable and it's... I, I just... It, it's just... I walked in it and I went, this is going to be fucking unreal. That's fucking good, like. And, like, both shows were just, like, fucking... Blah, 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 fucking... I find in Sydney you're almost like it's like cheating how good the crowds are. You'll do I like think, a wee joke and it gets like a. Bah! I think I think what the thing is is they're all over there and we're the wee taste of home. Yeah. Do you, do you get what I mean? A hundred percent. Yeah. And I think if you try and adapt your material for the Australian that's in, it's not going to be good. I think you need to just be what you are here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I know what you mean, yeah. But the Australians loved it because after they were like, yeah, some of the references we didn't get, but fuck me, it was just the energy in the room and yeah. you're like, yeah. Yeah. But no, I fucking loved it. And Where else did you do? You did Perth, Sydney, Sydney. Melbourne, uh, Perth and Brisbane. How'd you find Brisbane? I loved it. Yeah. It's a great, great city. Um, didn't uh, Melbourne, I spent nine nights in, so... That was the place I spent the most time. Fuck, you spent more time in Melbourne than I spent in Australia. Yeah. Nine, nine nights in Melbourne alone. And then like five in Perth. Yeah. And then Sydney and Brisbane was like flying visits, like three days, three days. Yeah, that was the whole trip for me was flying yeah. visits. Yeah. There's a lot of them I'd like, I would have loved to have stayed here. Where'd you stay? Um, I stayed in Melbourne, the Games House Hotel. Lovely. Mm. And then in... Perf, it was in Novotel. Right. Did you stay in any of these? No. 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 Um, and then in Brisbane, I stayed in the Hyatt. We stayed there, I think. The one with the swimming pool, if you look uh, out. It right has overlooking the yeah. city. Yeah. yeah. It was pissing down the day we were there. Sand um, still used the outdoor pool. It was fucking last year, then. We're like, fucking get the use out of it, like. Yeah. 
But no, I, just, I loved it. The hotel in Sydney, I wasn't a big fan. Re- no? Regis or... The Regis, yeah, I didn't... I didn't really like mm, that. I have stayed there too, actually. Albion Street. Might have been. Oh, Might have been. But I mean, it was fucking great. Trip was fucking unreal and... Um, Did you go see any animals? No. That's, I always I've seen a dead was... kangaroo in the side of the room. Oh, they're fucking everywhere. No, well, that was... I only seen one. Yeah. Like, literally, the kids were going, have you seen the spider yet? No. Have you seen... There's a spider in my suitcase from a left Melbourne to Brisbane. Right. When I opened the suitcase, there's a big red spider. Ooh. Just took it out and fucked it. Fuck. If it's a big one, though, you're kind of... Like, they're not yeah. the ones Well, that it was a wee... It, like, it was the size of my hand there. Aye. But it was red. Aye. And I was like... Why is that red? Is it red for a fucking reason? Like for danger? So I, I just put we my hand in it and then he opened the door and just put it out. And it was, that was it. But I mean, I didn't go to see the fucking koalas. They're going to make that illegal to hold them there. Aye, there's because there's only, you can only do it in Perth and somewhere else. Because we're like, you can get chlamydia and I was like, well, I'm not going to be away for 19 days and hold a fucking wee teddy bear next minute fucking go home. And she's like, what were you doing? Yeah, well, don't fuck it. You probably won't get the chlamydia, like. No, if the scrapey you can get it, did you know what? Their claws, yeah, because their their furs are so. A lot of them are born with chlamydia because their mouths all have it. Because kangaroos don't have like a vagina, they're like Tully Carnage. Because <laughs> <right? laughs> <laughs> they don't have like a vagina and an arsehole, they just have a cloaca, which is one hole. A what? A cloaca? I think that's how it's said. Are you sure it's called that? Why? What's it called? A cloaca, is that what it's called? I swear to God, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So a koala's hole is called a cloaca? A cloaca, yeah, it's like a bird's have it too. Right. It's just <laughs> one bird hole. has a cloaca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What birds have a cloaca? Um, the ones in Benedict's. No, so they just have... <laughs> <laughs> I like the cloaca, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cloaca Louise, get home now! Your woman makes a fortune getting her cloaca in the only <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, they are not my cloaca. What a name! My cloaca is soaking. <laughs> Fuck, rub the cloaca off me. The cloaca's <laughs> eating the leg of me. I bought the cloaca off her. <laughs> so that's just like the one hole. So they shit, they piss, they fuck with it. And when they, they're they born, the babies are born out of that wee chlamydia hole. So that they're born with chlamydia. That's just like what I say to you. Like, you love a wee arsehole. Like, so you must love a cloaca like me. I, oh, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. It saves you, me time. Would you lick the cloaca or somebody? Nah, you? do you know what? I don't want all that mixed together. That's fucking... But you will with it. You, you'll fucking like a big shady arsehole or something. No, no, I won't like a big shady. I'll like a clean one. I'll like a clean one. And what is the level of cleanliness? Like, is there a... Fucking... It has to be spotless. You eat your dinner off it. Like, do you look inside it before you put the tongue in? A wee bit. A wee bit. Too much inspecting happened there. Do you like a wee like, telescope? Normally, normally it's dark in a room. This is the point I'm making, so... Oh, yeah, you don't do it then. You don't know what you're going into. So what do you say? How long do I flick a lights on here and get a torch out? Have a wee... Make sure your alleyway's clean here. Do you know, what, do you know, like, do you know when, like, miners go into a cave? Of miners? One, of, one of, those, oh, 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 oh. of one of those whoa. hats. Jimmy Savile here was in there. Jimmy hat with a wee torch on it. <laughs> I'm, like, two seconds left. Why am I looking at fucking koala dudes here? It's a cloaca. I, I don't know, because I told you to look up cloaca, so I don't know what you're looking up. <laughs> Why am I looking up there's kangaroos been, fingering each other? There's bound to be a girl called cloaca <laughs> in this country. Yeah, with a wee fat over it. There's bound to be. It's Irish for koalas. What's, uh, what have you found? There's a cloaca? Yeah, it's a cloaca. Is that how you spell it? C-L-O-A-C-A. Is is there a sound button to hear what how to pronounce that? Because I know we're going to get rinsed here as not... Oh, I love those I love those YouTube comments. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think you'll find it's called a Croatia and you guys know nothing, you fucking idiots. And yeah. you're like, all right, thank you, Mr. Tumble747. <laughs> fucking stupid cunt. Mr. Tumble? It's always just stupid YouTube names. Mm. I done a gig in Australia the first night and uh, there was a girl on stage fucking doing the fucking the sign language. It was the worst fucking thing in the world. And I was on last and I went on and I was like, where's the deaf people? And they went here and I went, can you slip read? And they went, you know, and I was like, right, get the fuck off the stage because. <laughs> Did you not have some fun with it? You're not. Na- uh, Willie, there was 20 acts on. <laughs> By the time I was on, people were like. And it been done. They'd only seen so many people done. Blowjobs and fucking all that there. Like, I mean, it's quite obvious when you say something, what it's going to do. I would just say blowjob for 10 minutes. Well, you're one of them. There was X done that, and everybody <laughs> got five minutes, so it was just like tired. Like, yeah. at that stage, it was like, right, it's been done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Go on stage, Cloaca. 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 
Hey! Spot on. I know my koala horses. The one thing Willie's actually right about. Correct. So you didn't go see any? No. Oh, they're fucking class, man. No. I'm, um, I'm 43. Okay. Well, there was other things to Koalas say. can still be cute, man. And also, I have never felt more weight in my life than the day I went to the Gold Coast. Everyone just tan? Like, literally, I walked on the thing and people were going, don't be looking at the man. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Mommy, what are you saying? He's, like, he's not well. <laughs> well no, it was just that weight. Yeah. Everyone was that tan and I was fucking pure weight walking down yeah. to get in the water. I Like, I know I'm not a good looking guy. I've never felt so ugly as being on a beach in Australia. Like, everyone's, like, in good shape, tall, thin, tanned, and I'm just a wee fucking goblin, like. You feel so bad, but the beaches are unreal. Yeah, no, that Gold Coast was something else. Did yeah. you go to Gold Coast? No, no, we never Fuck got to go to Gold Coast. Me. You see, you have to go 45 minutes out of most cities. The only city that has a beach is Bondi. Yeah. Which is in, in the 20 minutes within the city centre. See, we were in Fremantle in Perth. Well, Fremantle, yeah. Fremantle, I was at the Secret Harbour Beach up in Fremantle. But Fremantle's about 45 minutes outside Perth. That's like a real hippie thing. There was yeah. Jesus on the streets. I beg your pardon? Jesus was on the streets. A homeless guy? Perth has a, has a lot of like no, mental no, homeless. No, no, I mean... It's like fucking Castle Street proper, levels of meth. Like. Proper fucking... Melbourne does. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Perth. Like, I never seen any in Perth. No? Not one. Lucky you. Not one in fucking Perth. And she in there got stabbed in a smoothie bar? Not, not fucking one, like. Um, but yeah, Jesus was on the streets. Like, proper Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? Did he do those whip marks in Biro? Yes, and also, <laughs> also was on a fucking cross. So I'm walking down. Fuck Fre- me. I'm walking down Fremantle, and there's a guy on the cross going, "What about you? All good?" <laughs> and he was. Irish. You're looking a bit pale, Hermit. And he was fucking Irish. That's fucking metal. Like proper crucifixion in the street, and I had people dressed as Roman soldiers and all that. Sure. Wasn't even Easter. What was it? F- what was that for? I don't fucking know. <laughs> that was when I just arrived. Like, there was no explanation for it. There was nobody Hand doing a mask. Like, there was fuck all. It was Tell just, me how to put it I'll put it up on the screen. It's just fucking mental. Like, just Jesus. That's fucking insane. And I, and I went, and, and like, they were all wee Indian women that was over to him. They were like, what is this? Because that's not even their religion. So they were like, what the fuck's this? <laughs> and they were trying to wipe him because they thought he was bleeding and all. And I'm going, it's fucking Jesus. He's all right. That's... M- isn't it insane? The fact that we don't have a context or reason for it makes it... Even, he just looks like he's done for the day, too. Oh, I know. That was a shift. Over That's a long head. shift. Like he's been, <laughs> I've been here since seven. Just waiting for the next guy to come in. Yeah. How was the flights over? Flight on the way out was perfect. Yeah? I left Belfast, half eight flight, into fucking London. 45 minutes. Walked to the other side, like got the fucking bus to the other, the other terminal. Got on a plane. My bag got transferred over. 16 hours, Australia. Did you go economy Straight or to business? Economy. Did you? Yeah. Brutal. Wasn't that? It was fucking Shoot sweet. business. It was sweet. Good time? Oh, yeah. Did you go business? You went business, did you? On the... So we had to do two flights. One to Dubai, one to... From Dubai to Perth. Yeah. And on the Dubai to Perth one, I went business. Because she was business. business. Do you know what it was? It was... I was afraid of... Jet lag Climate fucking day. me the first day, and I was just really lucky because I was look I was checking in, and it, I saw it was discounted. Normally it's like a couple of grand, and it was like a couple of hundred. Fuck. Just because they were trying to sell it, like if you'd have seen the price of it, yeah, you'd have done it. Yeah. Because I tried to get it in the way back, and it was like two and a half grand. I went, no, I'm not doing that. Yeah. But when I got it initially, oh, it was fucking class. Good. I slept. No, who was on our the on it with us? Do you know fucking the the band Matchbox Twenty? Yeah. The lead singer of that, Rob Thomas. It was like two seats up from me. Fucking uh, that song Smooth, no Carlos Santana. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah, he was on. He, he was going, excuse You're me, miss. Oh, that wee guy's wanking over Cl- <laughs> Cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't in my house, I was just filming. Willie underneath a wee blanket in business class. <laughs> Rob Thomas is like, just fucking a bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just sitting there eating loads of free fucking tray bakes. That was the best part of it. It was fucking great time. But no, I'll tell you what, I'm fucking sick of our reports after my weekend. Right. Because I was, I was on tour with Kieran there. Right. And Where were you? We did Edinburgh, Glasgow, Newcastle, Manchester, Liverpool, London. How was the shows? Fucking unreal. Yeah. On fucking real. I was glad Liverpool was the last one because Liverpool is always good. 
No, it was opening the day after or two days it's after. Done Hardman Street. So we did Hardman Street. One of the last shows in there, I think. We'll just do you upstairs, down the upstairs, stuff. yeah, upstairs. The wee room, it's great. Yeah, it's fucking brilliant, and that's what every time you do hot water, you know you'll have a good one. So we're glad that was the Frog end. Frog and Bucket, did Frog and Bucket as well. I recall, really good, yeah. really nice time. Um, did the Newcastle Stand, mm-hmm. always great. Edinburgh did Monkey Bar, yep, fucking brilliant. And Glasgow did Owen Moore, yeah. Which have you seen their new green room? Yeah, it's fucking class. It has yeah. the TVs now. Yeah, it's fucking brilliant. But on the way home, uh, he was getting the ferry home. I had I had a gig on the Saturday mm-hmm. in the black box at three, so I had to get a plane home to mm-hmm. make sure it was home on time. And you made it? No, I made it home. So got the flight at eleven, landed at twelve, but because of the storm, so windy they couldn't bring the steps out. So I had to sit on the plane till half one um. for them to bring the steps out. Finally got off the plane, and then there was baggage reclaim. Bags didn't come out because it was too windy to get the bags. Sat there for an hour and a half again to get the bags. Eventually, the Liverpool ones came out, and then my bag wasn't there. I was like, "Where's my bag?" And they went, "Oh no, this is the ba- the the bags from a cancelled Liverpool flight. Yours aren't out yet." So I'd sat there for fucking three like three hours, no word on it. And I went fuck it and just left the bags because I, I was losing my fucking mind. Did you get it yet? Yeah, I got it the next day because I went there. Guy to deliver it to the house. I went up and got it. But I was going to one of the security guys. I'm like, can I leave my bags here and come get them later? And he went, you can't really do that, mate. You can't, like, Google it. I'm like, yes, I can. I'm allowed to do that. and fucked off. It was... I don't get annoyed at staff of places because I know a lot of times it's not their fault. Do you know what I mean? But this was the one time, like, people were asking the staff, like, what's the crack? Where's my bags? And they were just going, sorry, I can't, not my... Like, just handing everybody off. People are putting up tweets being like, see your mom, Molly Thompson, who's in Belfast. City. Jamie Conn. Punching, punching the heads of easy jet Cheeky, stuff. Shooting the wee, like, uh, Clark workers. Do you know what? It wasn't even... In his wheelchair, fucking <laughs> slamming into the desk. No. Yeah. And I don't even need the wheelchair. I got it. I've rented it to do that. <laughs> no, I didn't even know what. I looked like I was mental because I was just sitting in the baggage. What do you claim. mean you looked like you were mental? I looked proper mental because I was just muttering to myself. And every time an announcement came over, I was like, it'll be another wait. It's just me going, fucking bastards, fucking son of all, you fucking cunts. Tell you what you need, though. Did I you could... miss the gig? I got there like half an hour late, but I was up there. What was the gig? Uh, we'd done like a wrestling panel show in the black box, right, so we're okay. showing like old funny clips of wrestling. Right. But that's why I was stressing because I was the one who made the PowerPoint. Right. No one else had it. So I was like, we can't do this show if I'm not fucking there. No willy, no show. Exactly. So all the pressure's on me to get there, like, so I was fucking shit. Pressure's shooting always on the willy, isn't it? It is, it is. It's, yeah, a lot of blood was going to the head of willy that day because I was very annoyed, very angry. Many fiending bastards, did you call? None. None. Because that's not where my mind goes when I'm angry. No. For some reason, my mind goes to sluts when I'm angry. I'm going, fucking sluts. So you I call don't, sluts don't know. instead of fiending bastards. <laughs> yeah, just to myself, fucking sluts. It's but, class when EasyJet do stuff going because you can go ahead and watch bastard. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> do you know what? EasyJet get away. Like, Ryan or get the shit from people. I think EasyJet's worse, but EasyJet gets away I with actually it. like EasyJet. Do you? I've never, I hands up, have to say, the only time was a girl was like, your bag doesn't fit into the fucking, the wee thing. And I was like, right. And from that day on, I always pay for my seat so then I can have whatever bag I want. And right. Nobody asked a fucking question. And there was a girl one day and uh, she was like, oh, your fucking bag. And went to put it in. And she was like, you're going to have to pay for it. And I was like, no. And that's like, I was going to say, no problem. Mm-hmm. But she didn't even, she cut me off and she was like, well, if you can't get on the flight, if you, and I was like, no, no problem, as well. I was about to say, yeah. you're embarrassing me now. <laughs> now you've been cheeky about it, yeah. you can fuck no, yourself. No, and I was like, no, I'm gonna fuck. And then there was a girl crying because she was a student and she couldn't pay, mm-hmm. she had no money to pay for the fucking case to go on, yeah. And it was too big, and she was like, I can't even take the flight, and she was panicking. And I was like, I'll fucking pay it, and everyone was like. You shouldn't have to pay for other stuff. I mean, it's nothing to fuck up to. You're What's she being con- a fucking con you're for? Ch- it's getting paid. I don't know why you're... Uh, you know, and I, I just wouldn't do that in somebody. Yeah. I mean, it was a fucking wee girl was a student. She fucking... Yeah, why's the to... easy chat receptionist getting fucking Tory on you? Because, because you're paying somebody's fucking seat, you know? What a con- But then it turned out she wasn't even easy chat. They're like... Swiss port, you call them. So Swiss port are the ones to do with the bags. Yes. And the reason why they charge is because they have the staff to put the bags down below. 
Right. And if you don't pay to put your bag on and then try and bring it on the thing, they've paid for staff, so that's why they go up into it. So that's why you have to pay? Yes. Because I've always wondered, they're like, oh, it's like too heavy for it's the flight. It's not the do. It's not the And do. I'm like, how does 50 quid staff. change that? It's the staff. Right. So that's... So, <laughs> that's always confused me. Right. So, it's like, are we bribing the plane? Yeah. The fuck? So what the crack, let's see when your bag's heavy as well. So yeah. when I got over there, my bag was 28 kilograms and you're allowed 30. Yeah. But the internal flights was 23. Fuck! So Virgin were like, you have to pay 60, but it was $60. It wasn't 60 quid. Aye. So, and I said to God, why is it that way whenever I'm international? And I know this was internal flights. And she went, see, when we put the heavy sticker on it, the person lifting it gets extra money for every heavy bag they lift. Right, okay. It's a fucking racket. That makes sense now, because that never made yeah. sense to me before. So that's what it so is. So they have separate companies that do the baggage? The separate companies. There we go. Party fact. There we go. I didn't Swiss know port. It. Swiss port. That's a bit. Why didn't you need to use that? Like. What, bribing the plane? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's always been something. That, I feel bad doing it now. Now that I know the reason, yeah. my heart won't be in it, but it always confused me. But you know what I find? See, because I can't, I can't complain. See, if I go to a restaurant, my meal's bad, tell the servers it's lovely. If my drink cocktails me badly, I just can't complain the service stuff. What you need, what I need to hire is a culture. Because see, at that airport, there was just one culture guy. Oh, they fucking flip out. Oh, they're fucking brilliant at it. They flip out. We're not getting any, no information, no information. We're still here for hours. You can't do this to people. I'm like, I need him with me at all points. Like, yeah. fucking lose I would his say mind. Kieran Bartlett would be fucking. <laughs> He gets fucking angry. It's I once guy. saw him in Canada complain about a breakfast we got, and he says to the Canadian server, I'm not paying full whack. Because <laughs> <laughs> he gets angry at like the, the smallest thing. Yeah. So I can just imagine what he'd be like. Like, could you imagine if somebody done that to him? Like your bag doesn't fit in that weave compartment. Like you would be I, I've seen him complain about it. he is actually quite cordial. Like he'll be angry to you. Very polite to me. Like, come on, go. She's a fucking bitch. The, see the see, see the time we were in the car accident with them, and they they were like fucking fuck these cons, right? Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, the name's Doctor Bartlett, <laughs> and the cops teens like that, like what? Like, yeah. They were like, okay, Doctor Bartlett, and once he showed the fucking license, it changed completely. Like, they were and they were like complete, and I was like. What a cunt. Like, it was like, <laughs> that's a class thing. Yeah. Do you know what oh, I mean? 100%. Yeah. But it was because he was driving the hound, they fucking get. Yeah, they're like, he's a fucking there was, scumbag. Yes, and he was wearing a tracksuit. Hi. Do you know? And I think this is Dr. Bartlett. I, 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 I'm surprised that Kieran, like, that he doesn't buy, like, fitted suits and all that. What, you want, I think it'd be you want class. him to go about, like, Kingpin? No, I just think, like, <laughs> Because no way he wears, always wears tracksuits and people just have it down him. I'd yeah. love to see Karen like just rocking a full on three piece fucking suit. For that's, everybody to go, do you know what? Jog, I, that's what I love about Karen. He'll never change. He's always just rocking a wee tracksuit and like a fucking. It's comfort fucking. Yeah, but like right? a Cobra Kai shirt. Like he loves them. But I, I would love to see him in a three piece suit. Like, no, get proper dressed up because I've never seen him doing that. See, now you say, I don't think I've, I've ever I've seen never, him in one. Never. Do you know what I mean? I would love to see that. That'd be class. That would be good. Why don't we do that for Pedro? Put Kieran in a suit. We'll bring him the <laughs> collar and tie or fucking Chris Suiters or something. And we'll get him suited and booted. Oh, I love it. Imagine, what, what, imagine, imagine, imagine <laughs> we got him a big wig suit. No, like the fucking Dukes of Hazard. Like, <laughs> big boss. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Here, Kieran, know what you want to do for our Patreon? Yeah. Put a suit on because everybody, it's so different. <laughs> yeah. Nobody it's because like... he just wears a tracksuit all the time. <laughs> you know, like, I had a mate, I know he, he used to, the Kieran wears different tracksuits, but I had a mate, he just wore the same tracksuit. And we were like, it's now been two weeks. Yeah, change that. And somebody found a song. Google this and see if this song's there. And the song was called Back in My Tracksuit. And we then got a fucking CD player and brought it out and just played it over and over. And he was like, what's my song? And we like, when are you getting the operation and all? And he was going, what are you, ta- what are you talking about? And we were like, the fuck I get that tracksuit off you. I wash it every night and then put it back on again. And we we're like, no, you don't. <laughs> it's been the same tracksuit for two weeks. Also, it's way more hassle than just changing your back clothes. Back in my tracksuit. Back in my tracksuit. Fuck, I was in like 95, 95. What the fuck was that's Korean, but they are saying back in my tracksuit. <laughs> That's her good. I'm Karen Bartlett. <laughs> <laughs>
Is that it? I Sultans of Ping. Back of a tracksuit? Mm. Sons of Ping? Sultans of what, Ping? What are, year was it? Are they Korean? No. They're <laughs> from like Manchester? Ah, uh, they are Manchester or something. And she cares to come on, that <laughs> shouldn't he? Yeah, actually, should. That's the kind of thing he would want on to as well. We have to send them out. He yeah. would love that. <laughs> 1983. Yeah, that's what I mean. It was like, because I remember. How like, many times that loop before your mate caught on? Oh, literally that day, and then he didn't come out for two weeks. <laughs> then because he... it was bullying. It was fucking bullying. Like, at the end of the day, it was fucking bullying. <laughs> Uh, here, do you just want to do the see because Shane's coming on the Patreon? Do you just want to do the questions on this one? We'll do some of them, yeah, because some of them are Patreon? about Australia and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. So, ask the Australian ones. Um, so anybody listening, this is the public one, but um, over on our Patreon, if you haven't watched it before, we answer our Patreon's questions, um, and yeah, so. Go over there in future episodes and you can ask your own. Yeah. Uh, the first one is from Ran A. Uh, ah, Ran Ali. Uh, he's saying, How is Australia, Paddy? My man, hope you spread the word of a 32 county socialist republic. <laughs> um, <laughs> William, how are you, son? Hope you managed to get out of the house the other day when your granda locked you in. Yeah, we got out in the end. God, I, you weren't here for that. I got out in the end. Your grandma locked you in the house? Yeah. He's going through a real phase at the minute where he has to lock, like, everything. Right. Windows, back door, front door. And he went out with the dog and locked me in the house. And I end up missing the podcast. Because I'm on the phone to Shane being like, man, I can't get out. And they're like, why don't you just break a window? I'm like, I'm not breaking a fucking window to do your podcast, in all fairness. Plus, you can't climb out window. That, that was it. Yeah, they're like, why can't you climb out a window? I was like, I'll give you three guesses. But Norman also, he locks everything. like So I was stuck in the house. What about you? You spread the word of a 32 show, socialist? 100%. It, 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 totally like an IRA rally, like every show. Uh, I think Sydney, the second show. I believe you. The second show was just like full on, like fucking bum bum. There was three guys in from Bangor and they were trying to give me a bit of shit. And I just went, fuck up. Like, and then it was just like everybody shouting up a rap. And I was like, <laughs> this is fucking turned into a rally. I got met with similar energy in Sydney, but I went the other way with it. Right, the one they were like, yeah, Irish. I'm about to love wrong. that. I know, I know. Do you yeah. know, like it's 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 the crack. You're having the crack. Right? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and when I say that, like people's going, oh, you can't say that, and you're going, it was a joke. Like it's not. Yeah, I don't mean it. Yeah. Yeah, I may be joking on yeah. this. Guy, you this got a fair imagine, like. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So I do a spit now, and yeah, 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 another one. And but now it's got to the stage where I go. You know William because he has cerebral palsy and he's a Protestant. I don't know if the two's linked. Are they linked? Yeah. What's that? Are they linked? No. <laughs> How the fuck would they be? <laughs> Got brain damage. Yeah, it's just because I'm a prod. Yeah. Hey, Burger. Jaburgan. Jaburgan. Said, hello, lads. Hope you're all good this week. Just on my way to see a warm up show for Calf and Bridges here in Newcastle. Can't wait. Want oh, you Jimmy Hutchison done the support? Warm up, I know, bastard. Bastard. Um, he says, want to know if you like, a, want to know if you like a work in progress warm up show, or do you prefer doing regular gigs straight into your own show or tour? If if you're going into your own show, I I like a couple of work in progress. I like both. I like to do. I like to see, does this work? for people who aren't necessarily fans of me but then a work in progress on a normal show you're getting about 20 30 minutes at work in progress you get the hour or a little bit more mm-hmm. so it's it's good to, i like doing both to see how they flow into each other what about you i think they know what i like i just yeah. like doing the show I just, I just like rocking up and just trying it <laughs> yeah 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 on the fucking night like. you bring a wee notepad up with you a day of work in progress no, no because i don't write anything down so what I do, because I... Do you I, do voice notes? Do, not even, I write notes? on stage. So I have an idea in my head, and I kind of know where I'm going with it, but I'll, I just, I, I can't... See, when I write down, and then try to do it, it sounds written. Have you ever read his... Like, handwriting? Handwriting. Yeah, it's fucking brutal. My answer is weird. Yours is riddled out. Yeah, so I'll just get on stage, talk, but I'll record that, and then on the drive home, listen to it back and go, ah, oh, yeah. it doesn't work, and that flows. But I can't... Right, right. I'm fucking. It just doesn't work for me. 
I never learned how to ride. <laughs> Is that Stephen Hawking or Morgan Freeman? <laughs> it, it was a mix between Stephen Hawking and fucking Forrest Gump. I thought it was Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I remember the day Dufresne came into Shawshank. He brought free midgets. <laughs> <laughs> um, chimbles. Ah, yes, the right honourable chimbles. Hello, men. Hope you had a good time in Oz party. My missus is taking to watching pedo hunters and murder interrogation videos to fall asleep to. Uh, some of them... Why has that got something to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> she saw you on my <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> some of them are more twisted than B&Q Timber and my sleep's fucked for it. <laughs> Imagine trying to sleep and someone's like, you're here to meet a 14 year old girl. <laughs> Pedo Hunters ASMR. Um, we have the messages and we know you've been talking to a child. <laughs> did you see the one? Who sent this? Did you see the one in England? I want you to send me a photo of you touching down below. Did you see the one of your man in England? Like the baldy pedo and they went out to his house and he brought his dinner out and he was eating a dinner <laughs> and your mom was like <laughs> your mom was like there's <laughs> kids. There's kids. He went <laughs> Says you're doing this, and there's kids playing out in that uh, street, and he's like, "Where?" <laughs> I haven't seen that. But that's amazing. <laughs> I know it's not the one I thought. It was too. like not one fuck given. He was just eating his food, and then your mom was like, "There's kids everywhere here," and he was like, "Where?" <laughs> that's different. No one I'd seen. You ever seen the Chris Hansen one, The Catch a Predator? And the guy comes in with a pizza for the wee girl, and Chris Hansen comes out and starts being like, What are you the doing here? The man just sits down, starts tugging the slice. He's like, oh, I don't know, just fucking munching the pizza. There was one of them ones where they actually felt sorry and they didn't hear the fucking because your mom broke down. Oh, fuck, really? Oh, I, and I, they never heard it. Do you know why? Felt sorry. Do you know why it's not the felt sorry? The way that people will feel bad for him. So they we'll felt bad for him? Yeah, no, but they know if they put that out and they hear it, they'll go the public will feel bad for him. So we probably would have fucked their show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the show didn't that show end because they chased the guy down. The guy who that show it. ended because the kids all get old. <laughs> <laughs> they chased the guy down and he shot himself in the head. That's how it happened. That's how it ended. And then they were like, "Well, we can't do this show anymore." That's a result. Yeah, that yeah. is a result. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Do you know, like, ultimately, all shows should end like that. Yeah, they, every one of them. Like, yeah. if he doesn't shoot himself, they should shoot him. Yeah, yeah. That the field this week's challenge. Like, yes. if he hasn't shot himself. But yeah, the one with the guy eating the pizza. I thought when you were talking about the bald one, you were going to do that. I'm going to lose my job. Oh, fuck. You ruined my holiday. I love that guy. Um, what was the end of that question? Oh, yeah. Do you, do you boys have any sleepy time rituals? And if so, how do you fur on your away gigs? I Most listen to... Just have a wank. <laughs> There's nothing else to do in the room, right? I can't wank before I go to sleep. And then stick to the sheets. I can't wank. Don't get up to clean it. <laughs> oh, you lie there like a wee glazed donut. Why oh. would you clean it? You're like an iced finger. It's been left in the sun. That's clean disgusting. It? What do you do? You get up and wave it? Yes. With what? Your sock? With tissue. <laughs> Imagine Willie trying to get his fucking... With the tissue? You're the tissue. A wee box of tissues. A wee box and of tissues. And you come in That's the most Protestant thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, so, so, sorry I don't absolutely fucking <laughs> baste myself with cum before I fall asleep. <laughs> Oh, what a savage I am. How yeah. posh I am. I don't hit myself with a money shot and go to sleep. No wonder they call us dirty fiend bastards. <laughs> yeah, you actually yeah, coming on yourself. Those are animals. Like, ah, good night. <laughs> oh, in the summer, you smell rank, man. Well, you get wise, like you don't wear your church for doing <laughs> No, I listen to, like, ASMR. I just read a book, like. Book is good. A book, a book is good. Book or why that sounds so Book stupid. Book is good. Book is good. First sleep. Yeah. Book is good. Fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. This fits him with the next one. Um, <laughs> a book is good. Is the question just book question mark? Is <laughs> Aidan Lochran um, has says, I left a comment last week about giving mentally ill people a platform to speak and then two minutes later Sean was talking about eating cat food. Um, <laughs> he says, That's right. <laughs> he says, I don't know if that supports my argument or completely destroyed it. All I'd like to say is welcome back, Potty, and please get Sean somehow. Well, yeah, we took a very serious conversation and you were like, I kind of want to eat cat food. When people say cat food and dog food, right? So this is the thing that I've said to people before. It isn't made from cat and dog, but that's what people think in their head. It's 
It's food. It's fucking food. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the same fucking food that we eat. <laughs> Only it's processed a bit different. It's fucking meat. Feeding their dog, dog. No, but people go. That's disgusting. That's cat food, dog food. It's fucking meat. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I get your point there. That's what I, that's what I was saying. I was going. It's just fucking like bits of chicken. Stop the him eating cat food. No, but it, it, it's it, like, I'm not people, eating cat but food. But people, she wanted to. I do want to. <laughs> Listen, we used to put in people's sandwiches all the time. <laughs> in the in the buildings. Yeah, we like if you didn't like somebody, so what you done was you you, you fucking. To get people back, what you would do is you go, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So you would, then it was mostly constant didn't bring sandwiches and stuff in, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would have, they would have fucking constantly like went, here, give us a wee sa- sandwich or something, or you know. And they were always getting stuff in. That would notes. fuck me off, yeah. So what I would do is then if it went on for like you had a four day rule, if they'd done it four days and then you you roped them in, so they were constantly getting. What you would do is then the following week you would make dog food or cat food, and you would say. <laughs> Oh, it's like a corned beef thing there. It's like a... And they're like, write that on, but you mixed it with coleslaw. <laughs> and a hundred percent... Did you make that one before like, you go to bed? Anybody who worked with me knew about the fucking dog food and the cat food sandwiches. Knew. Nine times out of ten, they were like, that's fucking great, that stuff. Can you let me know what it is and where to get it? And I was like, <laughs> it's out of marks. He's like, it's, and they're like, it's fucking gorgeous. Like, nine times out of ten. Oh, I gotta be sick. Oh, it's fucking That's right. the name of the episode. That dog, would... F- dog food sandwich. That would fuck me off, though. Like, fair enough, someone forgets their lunch one day. Yeah, have we sandwich? But once it went over four days, like... How much right? of a cheap bastard are you? Cunt, you yeah. can't get ham and bread? Yeah. See cheapness like that? Yeah. Fucks me no, off. No, then like... you have to you have to deal with it. Yeah, no, you're you're 100%. For once, I actually fully agree with you. And then, and then if, you got a, if you got a real bad, like, fucking foreman who made you make him tea all the time, you would lay in his cup of peace. <clears throat> <laughs> what just the, like the bottom if he went over like like uh, you listen get you and make me a fucking tea then you just paste in the bottom of his cup just filled it up that much with peace and then made a cup it's of like tea like a sommelier oh, yeah, <laughs> wouldn't it wouldn't be a full cup of peace but it would have peace and get yeah. notes of piss yeah 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 yeah. it has dashes of peace if you're not far enough again laxative cup of soups they were the fucking best many laxatives would you drop in well they just put fucking a couple in there but then you would fucking, the laxative of chocolate, they sort of clicked on about. So we found if you made a cup of soup, and put it in, nobody knew. And you would go, here, do you want a cup of soup? You know, somebody didn't like, oh, and then the fucking next month, they're away home. Fucking they shit themselves <laughs> off. <laughs> Did you ever get done with one? Probably. Yeah. Shit myself before, so obviously yeah, I've got something done to me. Do you know what I mean? I really give me a laxative. Like would make a difference to my day. To think that it hasn't happened to you. Like, there's yeah. bound to be a bar or a restaurant you've been in that you've either at semen or peach. Or a bit of poo because they've put it under the food. At a restaurant? Yes. It happens. <laughs> probably not. Yeah, probably. Yeah. There was a girl it's one time. Smoked. You eat at one star fucking. It, it, could be, it could be a five star restaurant. It could just be some cunt that's fed up with the fucking place he works in. And he's like, fuck this. Yeah. Or he fucking gobs in it. Or so fucking... it's just coming in your semen? Uh-huh. In your semen? In, in your sirloin? Coming in your semen? Oh, yeah, you know, there's coming my semen. There was, a girl, there was a girl in it and there was 140 different types of semen. It was in a Chinese restaurant that I don't know where it was. There was 140. Find out for me. 140 okay. different types this of semen. This is being looked up on William's profile. <laughs> <laughs> 140. Apes of semen. In and, the, and the food. search bar comes in up Chinese purple. Food. <laughs> in Chinese food. <laughs> it's just a wee koala fucking shaking its arse. Um, no, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Right. <laughs> um, next question is from Joe Bell. Joe Bell. And he said, Sean was talking last week on getting paid for their song, getting used. I've always wondered how the fuck that works. Like, how does Spotify or music companies gauge how much to pay out or who to say it's how much a song is worth? So that was when I was saying about... Would he works for that? I, the royalty, so he does. Yeah. He works um, for PRS. Isn't the PRS the call? Yeah. Um, so, Do you know what? Promoters try to rip the polish clean out of you about that. Ah, uh, it's weird, like... And I um, fucking... I fucking got them out on it. I was like, no. get the fuck. Yeah, it's bollocks. Like, I've worked on venues before, like, and they're on all sorts of costs. Like, yeah. See, once you know what the actual fee is, and then someone tells you it's like, oh, it's like two grand, you're like, no, it's not. Because I know what it is. I am. Um, it's like 30 quid. 
Yeah, yeah, it's nothing like. There's um, <coughs> there's a few ways to get paid out. Um, <coughs> so, uh, so, I think that I was talking about that when I was saying about the the song being used in Why the First Day of Australia. Like that was a different thing because that's sync. So when you get paid for sync, it's like, your song was used. Yeah. And um, was it really? Yeah, and we didn't know about it. It what just came it again? In. Uranium, you call it? Oh. Um, and it was like a scene where like the the wife uh, picked. Do you for think him. that they took them songs because they went nobody will fucking know? No, because no, they, they paid they them without telling them. They, they paid me because it just came in the fucking post and just says there was just like money on the statement, and it was far more than usually comes in on them. You know what I mean? All right. Um, so it just randomly got picked. We need so. to fucking write a song. Yeah. <laughs> That'll yeah. be good. <laughs> Neither of us can play instruments. Or we don't need to song. play the instruments. We just need to write it. We going a cappella with it? Yeah. Oh, we just, okay, we'll write you a song. Yeah. yeah. Now, we don't know the music at all, but we'll write you a song. But that... Koala holes. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, but sometimes like late at night, <laughs> I come on myself before <laughs> I sleep. Stick it to the blankets. <laughs> That one's called Sync, so it's like if you get used in a film or uh, TV show, then you get paid a, just a fee for it getting used. I don't know how they decide it. I think it's all to do with like the size of the audience, how much of the song was used, and uh, and then you also have like a sync agent who decides what your fee is for it. But uh, for like the likes of Spotify and stuff, it's all goes off the algorithm. So it's like. For every play your song gets, you get like a tenth of a P. You know what I mean? I Spotify is fucking so, grim. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like unless you're Drake, you're getting fuck all. Like yeah. So then, um, and it is also Drake depends on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Drake, put that away and fucking talk to me on FaceTime. Well, he's yeah, like... he's just there. To... <laughs> <laughs> it depends on uh, the user as well. So see if someone has a free Spotify account and they have the ads and all going, you get paid more. Right, than a person. premium. So like each play is worth more whereas if it's a premium one or a fucking somebody who's on like the family plan or whatever, you get paid less. That's balls. Isn't that weird? That's balls. See, because they're paying like and they've cut it so down. Say, say, see, if I was a musician, right, the way I would do it is I would do covers of the top 40. Yeah, that's the, that's the way month, people do it. Right? And then if Ansley get a following of people seeing you one yeah. ahead oh look who it is it's Hello. your mom what is the crack yeah. sit down there is this the last episode what? yeah yeah we're finishing this one up yeah yeah um, uh, but yeah no that's what I would do and then if I actually put like one of your own songs on because yeah. obviously you're not going to get paid for any of them aren't you not no well you get like you get the for the half covers of the, half of the right okay the royalties of it Bollocks. give us one last one there and then we'll wrap this one up Dead on. Um, Kira K says, Hey, our lads. Hope you enjoyed Oz, Paddy. Uh, do you, either of you have any tips for interviewing nerves going for a promotion in work? Yes. And absolutely. This is bricks? what you do. Punch the biggest is... interviewer. No, no. Pop. This yeah. is what you do. Right? You go in. Snog. You sit on your hands. Sit on your hands. Okay? That's that's for an interview. Because if you get into the fucking whole thing and then you're sweaty and you're rubbing them and you're autism like me, you're always fucking and it comes across. Sit in your hands. Take deep breath and look at their eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, this guy will get the job. If they want to fucking cycle. <laughs> Just really passionate about the car from warehouse. <laughs> hey, where'd you get them eyebrows done? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do facial expressions. That's not what I said. And I, I said, don't, don't, don't be doing Randy Man fucking savage. Or... Randy Man savage. <laughs> I'm feeling horny today, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I have a four week notice in the previous job. Do you know what? He is oh, like, come on. He, he, he is, that's what I was going to say. He was Randy Savage. You were fucking. Oh, but Andy. Yeah, Pester Bigby, we're going to get back at Sinn Fein. Yeah. <laughs> but, and then Hulk Hogan comes in and goes, Hey, Dad. <laughs> Hey, 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 oh, don't, go, don't be pulling your tap off and tap off at me, younger. <laughs> That's Robert Mugabe playing the rule of thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Hard fuck is 
Connor Burns not being it. Get my hook. <laughs> So that's what you do in an interview. You do a macho man <laughs> impression. Oh, fuck me. Um, we'll wrap this one up because of Patreon today. <laughs> Thank you for joining us this week on The Mud Blood. Head on over to the Patreon. I'm on tour. Paddy has the uh, Odyssey. Check those shows out. Get tickets for those. The Odyssey have the Olympian Dublin, have the O2 in Glasgow, um, have the Portico this Saturday night, which, you know, funny enough, they haven't sold it out. It's the second show, but there's fucking 10 tickets left, so get them fucking bought. And with the other ones in Newcastle, which is the end of the stories tour, which has doubled up the Kelly Halvin, the fucking whatever. Um, just buy tickets. The Argyll on the 5th. Fuck Good it. time. Good time. Yeah. I have a lot of turn dates too, but I can't remember them all. Slan. Go see us. Talk a boogie. Bye. Sunny evening, I'm not drunk, I'm just tired.